Okay, this isn't going to be much of a video. It's a beautiful day to be working outside today. It's nice and warm. It's in the high 70s. Uh, getting on towards the 24th or so of March. I'm not sure I hadn't checked the date lately. Anyway, as you can see, I had already buried my sump. The outline of that short wall there is going to be where I attach the bows from my greenhouse to. Okay, but as you can see, I buried one IBC as my sump. I have leveled across for five 275 gallon IBC totes to be used as fish tanks. Uh, I don't have, it's going to be a 24 by 32 greenhouse, okay? I don't have all of the IBC totes I need. I'm planning on 18 grow beds made out of the IBC totes, cutting, cutting pieces or whatever, and then about 100 square foot or so of floating raft. Uh, but I don't have all the IBC totes and I need to get some fish outside. As you can see, I made one system as an emergency to get some fish outside because my tanks were getting overcrowded as my fry grew off of the ones I was breeding. You can see the eggplant all wilty, the uh, bell peppers wilting. Uh, I actually moved those out here from my inside bed. Uh, they were so tall that the lettuce I planted was getting leggy because I couldn't get the lights low enough uh, for the lettuce after I pulled the tomatoes up because they just went buck wild. Uh, so I set this system up. I used about 60 gallons out of my indoor aquariums. So it should have had plenty of bacteria. Uh, you can see the fish swimming around down there. I'm not sure they run whenever I get up here. But as you can see that bag right there, that mesh bag is a uh, chock full of gravel that I put in the sump of my indoor system for a long time it sat in there. Um, and so it should have plenty of gravel on it to get this system going. But I planted some Roma tomatoes out here. These guys are doing great. They're loving the, the sunlight. They were already all bent and leaning over indoors, but I buried them down some. But they're doing great. They love it. Uh, the, the eggplants that were doing good up until today I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to check the system. It looks like they're not getting enough water or something. Uh, it looks like my line is kind of blocked up. I'm going to have to clean that. Uh, and the broccoli I brought out from indoors was kind of wilting. It's look, like everything's wilting right now. So even the stuff that was doing good. But uh, I actually have bloom coming in on that bell pepper there. They, since I brought it out here, those blooms have continued growing. Uh, Got a bloom on the eggplant back there. You can see that nice pretty lav lavender flower uh, on that eggplant. So they're just kind of wilting because they're not used to the outdoors, but they're continuing to grow. Now one of them did self prune. It had a beautiful bloom on it, nice and big, that uh, dropped off. You can see the scar right there from it. Uh, but you can also see all the new blooms and buds that are starting up. And there's one down under there that's gonna be opening up soon. Uh, so they are doing okay up until this line got blocked. I was trying to get size stirred up too much stuff in the tank this morning. I think it got sucked up there some excess food and blocked it up because uh, I w was overfeeding them. I'm trying to get that under control now. I was putting too much uh, uh, mashed up uh, pellets in there. Anyway, I'll get that cleaned out. But th this system, I had to do an emergency to get these guys outside because my indoor system was getting really bad and really nasty. 